Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes as they land another commitment in the transfer portal. And former FAU wide receiver Lejante Wester, this was a guy that was largely coveted as one of the more top playmakers available in the portal, had offers from Florida State, from Auburn, from countless other Power 5 programs. And it's easy to see why. I mean, over 100 catches for over 1,000 yards in 2023 on his career at FAU, had over 250 catches, 2,700 yards, 21 touchdown catches. This is a guy that creates separation, is extremely dynamic with the football in his hands, and I think largely aligns with the same conversation we've been having over the last couple of weeks with Colorado and what they're doing in the transfer portal, and that is the quality of player that they are bringing in is massively higher than what we saw last transfer portal cycle. And you go back 12 months, I mean, Coach Prime in this Colorado football program was just trying to fill in a roster, and they were taking a lot of guys in the transfer portal. They're doing the same thing in this cycle, but the quality of player is massively higher. And a guy like Lejante Wester, who, again, was one of the more coveted players available in the portal, picking Colorado – kind of tells you where this program is going and what excites me most about what we're going to see in 2024. I want to talk with Jonte Wester, what he brings to this football program, and then talk about what this offense is going to look like because the injection of talent in the new weapons that are going to be around Shadur Sanders is kind of next level. And this offense was already very prolific in 2023. It's hard to see it not taking a massive step in 2024. Really excited to get into this one. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys and a shout out to the Colorado fans. This has been just a blast over the last couple of weeks, breaking down these commitments, talking about this program and the amount of support you guys have shown has been absolutely amazing. This is something I love doing. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown the boys. If you guys do enjoy the content, enjoy the updates, consider subscribe to the channel. And I have a feeling this is not going to be the last time we're breaking down some commitments for Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes out of the transfer portal. Without further ado, let's get into LeJonte Western. Some of the things that I noticed for LeJonte Western when you turn on some of the games is this is a guy that is just a, a human joystick when he has the football in his hands. And you talk about what Colorado wants to do in terms of getting the football out quick to their playmakers and letting them make some stuff happen after the catch. That's exactly what LeJonte Wester brings to the table. Again, over 108 catches, 546 of his receiving yards came after the catch. And it's kind of easy to see why. I mean, if he's one-on-one with someone in open space, he's largely making that person miss. He has burners in the open field. His movement skills are extremely high. And although I love what he can do after the catch, I think the the favorite part I have about LeJonte Wester's game is his ability to create separation. I mean, he takes those movement skills that you see when he has the football in his hands after the catch and puts them in his route running and is able to create separation early, often in his route trees. And that is something that is going to be a massive asset for Shadur Sanders. I mean, Shadur Sanders, one of the more accurate passes that we saw in college football last year, likes to get the ball out quick, likes to get the football to his playmakers. And a guy like LeJonte Wester, I think, is going to fit right into what Colorado wants to do on the offensive side of the football, averaged over 20 yards per punt return in 2023. So he brings you a ton of juice in the special teams. And then you take a look at, all right, how is LeJonte Wester going to make that jump from that group of five level to the power five level? So you go take a look at back at the games where FAU played power five opponents, Illinois and Clemson. Against Illinois, he caught 13 for 137 yards and a touchdown. And against Clemson, had 12 catches for over 100 yards against the Clemson defense. That was one of the better units that we saw in the country. A guy like LeJonte Wester has dominated the group of five level, but has showed that he can make it happen against power five competition as well. And this is probably what excites me the most when you talk about this Colorado team. And you saw the strides that this Colorado team took in 2023, right? On both sides of the football, but obviously on the offensive side with Shadir Sanders and all those weapons, you take a look at what it's going to look like in 2024. One, we've highlighted the offensive line and what they've done to improve that unit. This is going to be a massively improved offensive line unit from what you saw in in 2023. And Shadur Sanders with a clean pocket 
and time to deliver footballs down the field is one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the country. So you have that offensive line that's taken a massive step in the right direction. Let's talk about what the playmakers are around Shadur Sanders. And you take a look at some of the new talent that they are adding first with the true freshman, right? Draylon Miller, Cam McKell, two guys that you talk about being dynamic with the football in their hands. Draylon Miller and Cam McKell are guys that it's hard to see them not playing early and often for this Colorado team. You talk about a guy like Cordell Russell coming from that 2023 class that was a top 100 national recruit and a guy that has a ton of physical potential in terms of what he can do as a playmaker. You go out and get a guy like Will Shepard, who was one of the more productive and prolific SEC wide receivers at Vanderbilt, now entering in an offense where he has a quarterback that can get him the football. I mean, those are some massive additions, and you don't have to talk about a guy like Travis Hunter and Jimmy Horn, who, again, we saw what they could do in 2023. And then you look at the running back room. I mean, a guy like Alton McCaskill, who we didn't get to see much in 2023, obviously coming back from that injury, he's going to be back fully healthy in 2024. Dylan Edwards, as a true freshman, is going to take a step in 2024. The amount of talent that Shadur Sanders is going to have in this offense is probably what excites me the most. And you start looking at the boxes that you want to check in terms of having an elite offense. It starts with the quarterback. And we know we have one with Shadur Sanders. Again, one of the better quarterbacks that you'll see in college football. Then you look at the offensive line. Are we going to be able to run the football and pass protect for the quarterback? Massive improvements on that offensive line and kind of the same conversation that we've had. I mean, they're getting guys that have power five experience coming in to play that offensive line for Colorado. Obviously, five-star Jordan Seaton coming in from the high school ranks. That group is going to take a massive step in the right direction. Then you look at all the playmakers that are around Shadur Sanders, the guys that we just mentioned as the new weapons being inserted. You obviously have a guy like Travis Hunter, who is probably the best athlete in college football coming back in 2024. When I look at this offense, it's hard to see this offense not being one of the better units in the Big 12 next year. And I think for Colorado fans, that is probably what excites you most is you saw this team take a massive step in 2023. And you'll have people say, well, they were overhyped. They they went from a team that was the worst team in the Power 5 Conference to having one of the best explosive offenses that you saw in college football. And it seems like it's just going to get better in 2024. If you're a Colorado fan and you're looking towards that year two jump for Coach Prime in this program, on the offensive side of the football, it's hard to see that jump not taking place. Really, really excited. Again, we'll continue to update you guys on the commitments for Colorado, but a guy like LeJonte Wester offers from a ton of Power 5 programs, has caught for over 2,500 yards during his career at FAU. Another massive addition to this Colorado program. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. Again, if you guys do enjoy the content and enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to you all later.